Hey, it's Natasha from YMO Homeschool, and if you're new to my channel, welcome. I am a mother of six girls, five of which are homeschooled. And this video is going to talk about my curriculum choice for history for my first and third graders. They are ages six, she will turn seven in November, and eight, she will turn nine, all the way in March. And so I'm really excited about this. So I am actually partnering with Knotgrass History, and I will be using their brand new elementary curriculum that is coming out next month in August called Our Star Spangled Story. And it's for grades one to four. And so my girls are the perfect ages for this curriculum. And so I wanted to tell you a little bit about it. And I'm also going to put in here um, some samples of this that you can actually look at yourself if you go to the Knotgrass website. But I just wanted to give you a little overview first, and then I'll show you the samples, and then I'll come back. So that's how this video is gonna work. So again, it's designed for grades one to four, and it's a one year US history course. There are 90 lessons. So it's meant to be done three days per week for 30 weeks. And so I loved that because that means most school years are about 36 weeks. And so in other words, if we get behind because of field trips or life or whatever, we can still totally do 90 lessons in a school year. So we won't really get behind. So it's not overwhelming. And so I love that. And I love that it's only designed to do three days a week, especially when you have co-ops and things like that. So 90 lessons total. The program is divided into two books, part one and part two. Part one has 45 lessons, part two has another 45 lessons. And so uh, all the instructions are in the book. And so there's not a separate teacher's manual, which is fabulous because you can literally just turn to the next lesson and do the next thing. And I love curriculum like that. That is, oh, that is what I look for. So that is perfect. So there's um, each week there's a unit and each weekly unit has those three lessons and that's how that works. Students could read on their own. So if you have a third or fourth grader, they might be able to read the lesson on their own. But if you have a first or second grader, you might want to read it aloud or you, you have a group of kids like I do, the two students, and you're just going to read it aloud to both of them. Totally up to you how you do that. Um, each lesson has photographs, illustrations, artwork. So it's very visually appealing, which you will see when I show you the samples. And the reading is designed to take only about 10 to 15 minutes. And then there are different components to the program, which include a rhythm and rhymes book and audio, and you can download audio samples on the Knotgrass website. So again, I'll link to that in the description box. There's a timeline book and a student workbook also. And so you'll need one student workbook per student that's using the curriculum, but it's only $9. The student workbook is very, very affordable and it's the only consumable thing in the curriculum. So each day that you're doing a curriculum, you'll read the lesson, you'll do the activity pages or the rhythm and rhymes book. There will be some review questions you could do orally or you could have your student write them out. You'll see this in the sample. And then there's some hands-on history ideas for you to do and you can pick and choose if you wanna do them, not do them, do them all, do some, totally whatever works for your family. And then there's also a answer key and literature guide. And there are books of literature that you are you know, supposed to read, but of course this is optional. You don't have to, uh, that is designated in certain units to read. So there's Benjamin West and his cat Grimalkin, Tolliver's Secret, Freedom Crossing, Farm Boy, Mountain Born, Emily's Runaway Imagination, the Year of Miss Agnes and Katie. So you'll be reading those eight books throughout the year. And so again, you can read those aloud to your students or maybe you wanted to have your older student, your third or fourth grader, use that as their own personal reading, totally up to you. But in that literature guide, there are questions that go with the books that you'll be reading. So now here is the best part about this right now. If you order it now, you get $15 off. This, it only goes until July 31st because this is coming out in August. So this is a pre-order price and the price will not, this discount will not happen again. So if you wanna get the discount, 
you have to do it now before July 31st. And there is no special code. You simply go on and it's already discounted the $15. So if you're wanting to buy the pack without the literature, that's $70 right now. It will jump up to $85 come August. If you want to buy the whole thing with the literature and the whole pack, then that would be $120 and that will go up to $135 in August. So make sure if you're interested in this, you order it now and that way you get it for that discounted price. Okay, and so I also want to talk about the pre-orders. So if you order it now, you'll pre-order and then part one and all the additional books and literature will ship by the end of August. And then part two will ship separately and should arrive by early December. So normally, if you're like me, you know, your first semester is August to December and second semester is, you know, January through May, kind of following a traditional school year. And so that would be perfect because you'll get part two in time to start your next semester. And any individual literature will ship with part one. And Knotgrass offers a full money back guarantee. So if you get the curriculum in and you change your mind for whatever reason, you can send it back and you'll get all your money back. But I really don't think you'll change your mind because this is just gorgeous and I love the setup. And so now I'm gonna show you these samples because I'm really, really excited about this. My high schooler, my 10th grader is going to be doing American history this year. And I was thinking just how wonderful it would be for my little ones to also do American history. That way, you know, we could do field trips and poetry tea times based on American history, have little history parties where we invite our friends. And so I wanted us to be kind of doing all the same thing, even though obviously my 10th grader and my first grader aren't going to be having the same lessons. At least if we're all studying the same thing, we can kind of incorporate it into our life with field trips and things like that. So I'm super excited about doing this American history. I have yet to do American history with my little ones, and so I am thrilled. So now I'm gonna show you the samples of the different components, and then I'll jump back with you in just a minute. Okay, so I just printed out some of the sample pages for you to see, of course. This is just printed from my computer. These samples are available online on the Knotgrass website and you can check those out in the description box below. So as you can see, beautiful, gorgeous artwork there. And then we have the table of contents. If you watch the video that is on the Knotgrass website, Charlene Knotgrass talks about how the students will be learning about some famous Americans and some not so famous Americans. And I had recently listened to a podcast that talked about how history is really relatable to children when they learn about people and their stories, their biographies, in relation to events. So in other words, here we have the Pickersgill family in the War of 1812. Likely the student will be able to make a connection with the Pickersgill family and will then be able to relate it to the War of 1812. So I think this is wonderful. If you look, a lot of these lessons revolve around people. And I think that for this level, that's really important in order for the student to relate and remember the information that's being given. So there's 45 lessons in part one, and then we have part two, adorable photograph there, and another 45 lessons up to lesson 90. And I did want to quickly talk about these couple last lessons. I just thought these were adorable, freedom to homeschool and you are making history. So if we go back to the beginning, you'll see it starts with the first people come to America, and then we end with you are making history. So it's a full coverage of, of American history from the very beginning until the present time, even includes September 11th, 2001, and I just think this is fantastic. Now in the lesson, you will see you have a passage to read with beautiful pictures some artifacts here. As you can see, there's not too much text on a page, so it's not overwhelming. You can read this to your student or you can have your student read it if they are older. And each lesson at the end has lesson activities, lesson questions or review questions, and hands-on history ideas. And what I loved about these lesson questions is that they always have a why do you think question. So it gets the students critically thinking and I really appreciate that. 
you'll notice it tells you to do the rhythms and rhymes and the student workbook and some lessons that will tell you to do the timeline and then the literature that you'll be reading for those couple units and then you will have the timeline here and you can see what I love about this timeline is that it's done for me and so I absolutely love that I don't have to create my own timeline it is already done for me then you have the rhythms and rhymes and these are a collection of story or poems and songs and dances that you can do with your children so here's a song here's a little lullaby here's a dance here skip to my loo here's a poem and i think this would just be wonderful to do with poetry tea time pull this out that's absolutely great and then the student workbook and you'll notice on pages like these, it gives you two options. One is to draw a picture, and this one talks about Conrad Weiser. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. And all the things he had, like German Bibles, Book of Sermons, Prayer Book, Hymn Books, um, Framed Map. And of course, I, I was thinking, well, wouldn't it be awesome to kind of gather some of those materials and put it in a history box? But anyway the student can draw those pictures or if they're older maybe third or fourth grader they can write a paragraph and be practicing their writing skills and their paragraph formation and all of that so it's really up to you and you can do it however you want some map work here and for my children i will probably have them labeled the capitals also because we learned those last year and then each unit has these reviews and these you could kind of think of like tests but they're not overwhelming or intimidating but these would be great if you have to keep a portfolio for your homeschool. Those would be great to do. And then again, an another lesson example, a coloring page here, and another review. You see these reviews are not intimidating, but it'll be a good way to gauge what your student is retaining. All right, so now I'm gonna jump back for my final. Now that you've seen the samples, I hope that you are just as excited as I am for this new Christian Elementary American History curriculum. And make sure, again, that you order before July 31st to get that $15 off because that will not happen again. So make sure to order now so you get the discount and be looking forward to an unboxing video when I get the curriculum in the mail and also monthly how we're doing the not grass curriculum in our homeschool so i plan on making a monthly video of what we've done the projects we've done kind of showcasing that so please like and subscribe and keep a lookout for those because those will be coming soon so thanks so much for watching if you have any questions please let me know and don't be afraid to contact not grass if you have a question that i can't answer and they will definitely help you and guide you and answer all your questions they are the sweetest people in the world so again thanks so much for watching and happy homeschooling